daily life is boring. It's, <laughs> it's not a struggle. It's just yes, something not. we're still getting used to. Yeah. We like to keep it as more like school as possible. So they get up, have breakfast, get dressed, brush their teeth. We try to make sure to get them dressed every day so they're not in their pajamas as much as we all would love to be in our pajamas, because I know I would every day. <laughs> um, and then they start at the, with their morning meeting at 8.10, and they go into our school room, which is just a spare room we have turned into a room to try to make it as most like school as we can. I am actually out in our dining room so this is where I spend my time. I'm in the corner <laughs> and I do a lot of social interactions with students. Does anyone else have any questions for me before we talk about what we are grateful for? Thank you, Cece, I miss you too. A lot of the kids need a lot of social emotional support. So just having that um, 30 minutes or so to have a share with their friends and play games with their friends, trying to build the community in the online setting, which is, it's been a struggle with Aaron trying to get a good routine going and trying to get him situated and wanting to learn this new way that we have been doing school. And I try to keep it in that sense. And I keep explaining it to him saying, it's a new way to do school. It's still school. It's just new. It's new to everyone. Um, I'm thankful that I have my husband because he has been my rock and my helper because it, it is a big adjustment trying to go from having someone else to look after your child during the day and to teach, to teach him and help him with those social skills that me as a mother, I can't always help him with. It's having his sister the, here has been a help as well because she's, she's really the, awesome with helping him out and day. helping me. You can have sunlight and <laughs> Suggestions that I have gotten from teachers, um, specifically Aaron's teacher, um, to help him during the day to concentrate is um, getting something small that he can tinker with. Um, maybe Legos or Matchbox cars that he can use on his workstation. Um, she also suggested building a Lego structure, maybe with a bunch of different colors, and then taking it apart and sorting the colors as he's listening to the lesson, which we have found has helped out a bit. It keeps him busy, but also engaged in the learning. One of my best friends said, hey, maybe you need to separate yourself from his learning so he has to concentrate. And we've done that the last two weeks and it's worked out wonderfully. I love being with the kids and helping them while they're learning and having the realization that I might actually have to quit something I was doing for me was really scary and it made me really emotional because I didn't want to quit and I felt really selfish. I just knew that I had to make a choice because my son's school was suffering. I'm all right. Mommy's just remembering feelings. Just having that talk with my boss, you know, the principal, Eddie Latour, and him saying, we can help you figure this out. It was really reassuring. And I knew from that point on a weight was lifted off my shoulders and that I wasn't going to have to quit something that I love.